got the pistons on. Everything's moving freely. Um, so now we're going to put the base gaskets on. And yeah, we're going to do that. So, okay, these are the base gaskets for it. Two of them in there, hopefully. Okay, and they're just going to go on like that. Or I mean like, like that. Um, before we do that, I'm going with a little reassurance Yamalube on the bottom of the gasket thing. Just so I know that we have a tight seal. So I'm going to put a little bit around here. You don't need a lot of this. Um, really goes a long way so just try to get the best as you can around here and this just helps with like compression and everything really because sometimes these gaskets that they give you are really cheap and not very not very thick and when you have the cylinders resting on them, it doesn't really give you the compression you need. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and put one of these on. So this one will go on first. Just slide her on. Make sure you don't rip it. They're all the way flat. Everything looks good and flat. Now we're going to take the cylinders and put those on. Okay, putting a cylinder on. Um, just take some of this oil again. Lube up. Um, the piston pretty well. Put some oil on it. Put a bunch. The rings, make sure the rings are all covered and moving around. Get it all over. side of the cylinders a little bit. Get in here. Get it all in here. Then you just take this. Make sure the rings are lined up with the right what's it called? In the right position so that they can be squeezed. This is the tricky part. Getting these rings lined up. Oh yeah, that one 
comes in. Moves up and down there. That's one on. Okay. Again, put a little reassurance on here. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Good. Then we're gonna put this one on. This one's gonna be a little bit tough because it's hard to get to, but we'll make it work. Both cylinders are on, finally. Just make sure it's flat. Would you look at that? Then, uh, we can put a bunch of, uh, oil in there. Well, not a bunch, but... The sides. Same with this one over here. Next step is just putting the motor in the bike and Getting it fired up. Um, I still have to get carburetors for it because mine are junk, but um, next week I'll probably have the motor in the bike and we can start it up and see if everything works. Um, if not, I'm just going to sell it as is and we'll go from there. So, hope this helped you and I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.